It's time for a deeper relationship with me. You might know me intellectually, but do you have me in your heart? I want to spend time with you. I'm so fascinated by you. Even the little moments in your life are important to me. I am more interested in your future than you are. I want you to know me better. I want you to challenge yourself of not being satisfied on what others have taught you about me, but I want you to experience me personally. I want to know what you have learned about me through our communion, through our friendship. You'll find out that I am of God of second chances and not to make your life impossible. You'll find out that I not only want to do things for you, but I want to do things through you. You'll find out I am a God of encouragement and not a God of discouragement. Come closer to me and I will come close to you. You're looking for peace. You're looking to be genuinely happy. And in the Psalms, it says that in my presence, there is fullness of joy. You need me. You've tried on your own and it never works. You refuse my living waters and you dig your own cisterns and they're broken. They don't even work. Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, streams of living water will flow within them. Everything you need, I already am. You need me, and I want you. When you feel most unworthy, that's when you need me the most. Your sin is deep, but my desire to be with you is deeper. Spend time with me. Spend time with me by praying. If you only knew, I am more eager in answering your prayers than you are in asking. I don't want prayers that come from a sense of obligation. I want prayers that come from the heart. For you to be completely honest. Tell me everything. Instead of pretending you are good, there is no way that we can be closer if you're pretending to be someone else when we talk. Spend time with me by studying my word. I mean, can you really hear me when your Bible is closed? Satan fears your study of my word because ignorance of it is the most effective weapon he can use against you. Study it and realize the most common phrase is, I will be with you. It's time for a deeper relationship with me. A man who had a very interesting journey was Enoch, who grew a relationship so deep with God that he was translated to heaven without knowing death. He walked with God. Jesus was his greatest desire. Makes you think, in our walk with God, there's no such thing as a plateau, which is a state of no change after a period of progress. We are either growing deeper in our relationship to God or we are distancing ourselves away from Him. There is no in-between. Enoch is a perfect example of this because his walk with God was consistent for years and years. Well, 300 years to be exact. What's beautiful about this journey is that it was a mutual relationship. In the Bible it says, Do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? we can have that same relationship with God today. Enoch walked with God. The word walk brings to mind the idea of intimate friendship or doing life with someone. Have you ever been through a difficult moment but had a friend who was there with you and for you? How did it feel? Amazing, right? Aristotle once said that the antidote for 50 enemies is a friend. God wants to be your friend. God doesn't want a relationship based on 
counting your good deeds to win points with him? Because quite frankly, that's not even a relationship. God wants to spend time with you as a friend. And true friendships require honesty and being wholehearted. Jesus is a never failing friend. He's the substance, the glory, and fragrance of life itself. If there is anyone who should be continually grateful, it is the follower of Christ. If there is anyone who enjoys real happiness, even in this life, it is the faithful follower of Jesus. Jesus wants you to be happy. He wants you to experience the joy it is to be in Christ, to be a new person. Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, longs for you to be joyful as you enter into a deeper relationship with Him. Take this moment to talk personally with Him. Don't be afraid to be completely honest. He welcomes it. Don't forget that He wants to be your friend. He wants to walk with you, which means deepening your friendship. It's amazing to think that the creator of the universe wants to be your friend. How amazing that he places himself as your friend because he wants to spend time with you. So pray right now that you can get to know God in a very personal way. To have a deeper relationship like you've never had before. After you made your prayer, the music will change. And when the music changes, take some time to remain in quietness. Try to listen to God's voice in the still quiet. Take some time to remain in quietness. Try to listen to God's voice in the still quiet.
This was Journey Podcast, Finding the Path to God.